today, this session, I was a bit anxious, a bit nervous, and so was Nate, but in the end, everything worked out well, as you will see. Sure, we'll come in. We're ready. How's it going, Wynn? Doing fine, everyone. Hello, and the weather's beautiful to go with the, the, the uh, horses, the beautiful horses, and the beautiful people here. So here. We already saw Brandy over there, uh, wandering around. Think about things and problem solve. So their memories are and so great. So their memory, so then their mind is free to have the memories. And it kind of stuck with the self-talk and the anxiety. Yeah, so I have a site inspection from a, a group in Santa Fe. Business partner is just going to try to be here, but oh, daughter has no way to grind down, and it just keeps on erupting. So then we have to go in much more often and have that ground off so that she can chew and it doesn't hang up with the other ones. And which one is that, Nikki? That's Nikki, the brown one there. Uh -huh. So she had been really good in trailer loading, but she got a little funny, and so has Shadow in the last uh, time we tried to get them loaded. So you'll notice the trailer is sitting out in the south pasture out there. See it right straight out there? And so I put her feed in there. And this way, she realizes that the trailer is associated with good things and not just always going to the vet. <laughs> right, right. And she's been getting on and off really well. So before you go, because it's, it's feed time, I could put that, and you could watch that and film that and see how she goes up and right in the trailer. That'd be great. I'd like to do that. Okay. Sure. And yeah. it's good for any of the viewers, too, if they have a horse that might be problematic. That's a real soft, gentle way to, to help them get back to right. the trailer in a nice way. Yeah. I was going to ask you, Ron, do you have any particular topics or themes or issues you wanted to explore today, or and it's okay to say no just to play more? We have we have a um, we have something set up that we could play with, which I think might be fun for you. Okay, well, what is it? What is that? It's called uh, Life's Little Obstacles, and what we do is it's a um, mm -hmm. obstacle course, and you can either lead the horse through by yourself or together and uh, one one thing we like to do is the first time you lead the horse through you can do it with a halter and the second time you can try leading the horse through without a halter either just with a rope or the top. See how the connection goes and how you feel. Let's do that. Okay, great, great. And which horse would you like to uh, to have take the journey with you? People, people like, seem to like Nate. Oh, they do. Nate, I think well, so, he yeah. happens to be out there and uh, he just least, went through it. So. At least one, one of my viewers wrote, uh, uh, get well soon, Nate. I heard, yes, thank you for sharing. Mm -hmm. yeah. for That's too. what gave me the idea. It was a lady, right? Yeah, I think so. And thank her, too, for that. Uh, yeah, for sure. Another. He's doing much better, yeah. but still a little anxious, so we'll help him through that anxiety. Good. And, and feeling more comfortable. Great. Okay. Yeah, because he's really fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> but he's at least shedding out the coat, which every year as a horse gets older, because he's 22 or 20 this year, rather, that we want to make sure, because they'll become insulin resistant sometimes, or what they call cushion, uh, beyond the insulin resistance, and they won't shed out. It's a particular uh, issue, and they won't shed out. But he's, uh, he seems like he's shedding. Okay, so we're working with Nate then today. Okay. Well, this way down the alley. Okay. He's pacing just a little bit, so he was a little anxious in the last session because the lady picked him as well. But they pace when they're anxious. Sometimes, yeah. Uh, well, that's the side. Okay, now he's a little curious, so we just need to be mindful that he might take a little uh, time. To come to well. Yeah. I'm not sure what the obstacle. Oh, wow. I can sort of guess what the obstacle mean to Nate. Uh, to me, I, it'll, I think it'll be a challenge for me to try to lead him over the things and around them. Okay. I think we are. I don't feel terribly confident about um. <laughs> right now. Right this is yet. like the greatest race, right? <laughs> Especially after that, that little tip he had with... Uh, In the corner. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, that's we 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 we, we have a little distance between the other horses, so they're less of a distraction. Yeah, but he, he seems to like me. Yeah. Yes, I would agree. Yeah, well, if it helps him, he probably forgot. Me. Yeah, I was probably forgot say, me by now. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna say they don't now hold grudges. The no, yeah. <laughs> they don't spend too much time in the past. That's they live just, in the moment. Yeah, it's like personal space. You know, you bump into someone in the store and you say, "Excuse me," and then you don't think about it anymore. Right. Okay. So when you guys are ready, uh, I can videotape and maybe when you want now, to help them. the question would be, how you would like to lead it? Would you like to get the lead rope with the halter on with two leads? Or do you want to do it with the same rope, both of you going together, being on the same side? Uh, and helping each other that way? Let's do that. So if he needs to move, see, for safety, that sometimes is good too, especially up and over teeters, I just think in terms of that. Okay. And we can use the, just the little rope and, and hope Oh, this little rope right it. here, the little purple mm -hmm. one? Trust yes. Okay. Do you want a slight, yeah, you if it's yeah. both of you, we can use a slightly longer rope, but I like the idea of doing it without a halter with the rope. Both oh. of you with this? Or do you want a slightly longer rope? A little bit longer rope. You exactly. want to get the black one? Like you were doing here, you walk through it so you both pretty well know the pattern now that you want to go. So as you begin, put that in your mind. Put that picture in your mind. And think with a little smile and that you are going to do it and it's going to be wonderful. It's going to go easy. It's going to go great. And then he's already relaxed and calmed down here. So I think he will be... Very nice, very nice. Did you guys want to try the teeter-totter? Huh? Did you guys want to try the teeter-totter? Yes, absolutely. I didn't know how he was doing it. Yeah. We had said, well, I saw him do it on his own earlier. Well, with the other previous client. The previous client, oh. You were watching? <laughs> yeah, she chose him too. She really likes me. And he doesn't always get picked. You're one of the two, two groups that picked him. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay, we'll yeah. bring a tree. Okay, well, regarding Nate there, got a little anxious lately about different things, just life in general for him, and creating some anxiety. And he's lower, of course, on the totem pole of the herd. Right. And it's springtime and air and wind and dirt's blowing around, which can be problematic for horses, you know, because they smell, see and hear a lot more things than we do. What's that thing? It's problematic for me. Yeah, yeah well, it's very true. Nervous when yeah. All of us don't like all that wind either. No, wind, it makes me anxious. Yep, so yeah. it's been making him a little anxious too, and he sees things moving around that he wasn't used to before, because he's got new growth. And I got one more, if you want to give him a treat, Ron. Do you want to give him a treat? Yeah. So just flat hand. Got your fingers together, but good. Oh, you, you, he got it <laughs> without getting. Oh, oh, sorry about that, boy. 
Yes. You let me touch your forehead last time. Yeah. He's a little jumpy. Today. So little you jumpy. helped him though. Yeah. Today. Oh, I'm glad. Can he helped you with some things that you could do together and individually and felt empowered through that? A little more confidence for me. Confidence, right? He feels more confident. Okay. Right. Florian pointed out that he stayed with us, so that's a good sign. But even now, as fidgety as he is, he's not he, he's part of the circle, he's not off. Let him kind of follow you. Go ahead, walk on out and see what he does. Next time we work on that relationship even further. Because what we want to do is try to encourage and use them. Hello girls. I mean child nuclear. Yeah. Oh, come on. Why are you going to sit here, huh? What's the bad mood about here? Yeah, I don't think that's a bad mood, it's just a little... something going on. Hormones. Oh, yeah. The hormones. Smelling the feed, huh? No, I don't want to do it. Jump it in and put it up in the pot. So this is accustoming her to associate the trailer not only with the vet but with feeding. Gosh, you went in like a way. charm. <laughs> like you, a charm. you all right, Win? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's another egg. Okay. Feeding time for our friends. Yeah, they're all hungry. Oh, your horses, everybody. Oh, it's your horses. Here you go, sweetie. She says, hold your humans. Yeah. Don't tell me to hold my horses. I'm hungry. Here you go, baby. Beautiful, beautiful. There you go. One for you, one for you. And these, their names here, the one on the uh, left is Foxy. Uh, Foxy on the left. And Teepee. Teepee. Which is short for Apache Hemlock Teepee. And that's really just a mini horse name. And this one's GNX, GNS Foxtrot. GNS Foxtrot. And Gussie is all gussied up. <laughs> this is Gussie here. Yes, and her registered mini horse name is all gussied up. All gussied up. <laughs> <laughs> 